Hello. Hello, hello. How are you? Hi, Diego. Hi, hi. How are you today? Hi, good evening, teacher. Hi. I'm fine. What about you? Fine. Fine, fine. The name? Okay. Don't forget the yes, name. Yes, I will fix them <laughs> right now. <laughs> ah, the name. Okay. Hello, Sulma. How are you? Hi, hi. I'm connecting. She had problems. No logro hacer la conexión. Hello, Nelson. How are you? How are you today? Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, a little tired. A little tired, but I'm here at work. Ouch. A, a difficult day. Yeah, sometimes that happens, right? I do. <laughs> yeah. I know, I know. That's <laughs> Hello, Salvador. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Excellent. Ready, ready. Okay. Well, let's let's start. Hi, Daisy. Hi, hi. How are you? Vamos a ver los names. If we complete. Mm -hmm. Nice, complete names, perfect, perfect, perfect. Hi, hi, Sulma, how are you? Hi, Claudia. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Nice Good day. Life. Excellent, excellent. Oh, I see, algunos están entrando, saliendo, están teniendo problema de conexión, maybe. Claudia, the name. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you. Sulma. Sulma, Sulma. I don't see Sulma. She had problems, maybe. Well, okay, bueno. Hoy sí, hoy sí, conectando, conectando. Yes. Ok, perfecto, Zulma. Sí, ¿verdad? Ya quedó. Vaya, I'm going to call the attendance right now. I'm going to go here. Let's see. Miércoles, ¿verdad? Catorce. Rápido vuela el tiempo, la verdad. Definitivamente. Imagen que ya sé que estamos empezando mes y es 14. Wow. Vamos a ver, Claudia. Tell me, present. Present. Excelente. Claudia Semara. No la logramos convencer que volviera Claudia Semara. Okay. Daniel Antonio. Present. Hey, nice. Okay. Daisy, Yesenia. 
Present. Excellent. JC. Diego Armando. Present. Stephanie Jamlet. Stephanie Jamlet. Jonathan. Is Jonathan Preston. here? Where are you? Present. Eh, hoy sí. <laughs> okay, Jose Ernesto. Not here. Okay. Marielena. Elena. Elena, Marielena. Marielena, Marielena. No here yet. La vi que se conectó, pero quizás tuvo problemas. Marlon. Marlon, Marlon. Nelson Alberto. Present. Excelente. Rafael. Rafael. Rafael, Rafael. No viene ya. Sí. Ricardo. Rina Aura. Rina, no bien. Salvador. Salvador. Present teacher. Excellent. Zulma Lorena. Present teacher. Okay. And Present. Excellent. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice. Well, let's start. Remember, we have been talking about prepositions, right? We have been talking about there is and there are. So, hoy vamos a ver otras prepositions y vamos a poner todo junto para hablar de nuestro trabajo. Let me share. Okay. Well, this is um, a review of what we were studying yesterday. Remember, we were using there is and there are. Cuando usamos there is? Cuando usamos there is? Mm -hmm. Cuando, cuando. ¿Quién se acuerda? Bueno, vamos a elegir a, una, a un objeto o a algún sujeto que esté en singular. Ok, exactly. In singular, we use there is. In plural, we use there is. Ok. How many students are there in this class today? How many students? There are 10 students. There are, okay, nine students and-, and There are nine students. And there are nine students. Uh, yeah, okay. And we were saying, right? There is, we use there is for singular. And remember yesterday you were describing uh, things that you have in your, in your in your office, right? In your workplace, so if you work from home, in your home. Hoy a esto le vamos a enseñar. La brecha. Next to. Next to. Ya no solamente de la cafetería, sino ya donde está. The cafeteria is next to my office, right? So it's next to the entrance. Or oh, is at the entrance, okay? So, hoy vamos a estar agregando esto. Now, there is a designing, a designing area. Where is the designing area? It is between the cafeteria and the office. Oh, if we say that this is an area ouch, to rest, so we say there is a designing area next to 
or between the cafeteria and the area to rest, okay? Where is the cafeteria? Look at the pictures. Where is the cafeteria? Si yo les pregunto, por ejemplo, is there a cafeteria in your workplace? Is there a, is there a cafeteria in your workplace? ¿Qué me dirían? Yes, there is. Mm -hmm. Yes. There is. Yes, there is. Okay, yes, there is a cafeteria. Okay, ¿a dónde queda? Entonces hoy ya no vamos a decir solamente yes, there is a cafeteria. Hoy vamos a decir yes, there is a cafeteria. ¿Y a dónde queda? In my workplace. Mm -hmm. In my workplace. My workplace, ok. So estamos in, pero ya vamos a ir diciendo exactamente dónde queda, right? Ok, let's go to the next sentence. There are, remember we said for plural, we are going to use there are, right? So there are some roses. ¿A dónde están las roses? On the table, right? On the table. There are some roses on the table. There are two people in front, right? In front, this is our next conversation, in front of the mural. There are two people in front of the mural, right? Now, there are many books. Where are the books? Where are the books? At the library. In the library. In the library. Or you can say behind the behind the coach. Behind the girl. Mm -hmm. Behind the girl. Behind, behind the woman. The okay, very good. Where is the pillow? Where is the pillow? Yes. Next to the girl. Okay. On the right. Girl. It's on the right of the girl. Um, Teacher, or... and, and it's correct if I say in the right hand. On the right hand. On the right. On the right hand of the good man. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. You can say it. On the right hand. Yeah. On the right hand of the good man. Okay. Where are the lamps? Where are the lamps? The lamps. Behind the wall. They are behind the sofa, right? Okay, let's say sofa. Para no complicarnos tanto la vida, right? So there are there are two lamps behind the sofa. Mm -hmm. And where are the books? Where are the books? Behind the girl. Behind the girl or, or behind in the bookshelves, right? In the bookshelves. Si fueran solamente shelves, sería on, pero como son bookcases, son libreras, ¿verdad? Entonces podemos decir in the bookcase. Okay. Any questions here? In the bookcase. In the bookcase. Okay. Okay. Yo asumo, asumo que este es una, dos, tres, cuatro bookcases, right? Mm -hmm. uh, digo yo, vea, que son cuatro. So you can say there are a lot of books on the bookcases. Okay, now check this. We are going to see some other prepositions. So you have in. E, on, next to, next to, behind, between, right? Between. In, repeat, in, 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 in on, 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 next to, next, next to, to, next to, behind, 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 behind between. 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 Okay, the bananas, there are two bananas in the bowl, right? 
There are two bananas in the bowl. I'm going to write the sentence in the next slide. There are, there are two bananas in the bowl. Where are the bananas? In the bowl. In the bowl. In the bowl. Very good. There are two bananas in the bowl. What about on? How can you make that sentence? Two bananas. Enjoy something. In the bowl. In the bowl. Uh -huh. What about the next one? On. There is. There is a Remember, banana. we continue using there is, right? There is. Oh, there is. There is a. There, there is, is apple. There is an apple. Uh -huh. There is an apple, is an apple on the table. On, on the table or on the books. On the books. I would say on the books. There I can is remember the, the picture. On the books. There is an apple on the book. On the books. On the books. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there is an apple on the books. Very good. What about okay. this one? There are two. What is, what is that? <laughs> yes, chicken. Dishes. <laughs> there are two dishes. Okay. Next to, next to the plate. Okay, these the will be the dishes chicken for the plate, right? Next to the, the, chicken, bowl, the, chicken, the chicken soup. Okay. Uh, chicken soup. Uh -huh. There are there are two there dishes. Are two dishes. Two dishes. Next, next to the the chicken soup. The chicken soup. Okay, next to the chicken soup. Very good. And where is the book? Where is the book? I don't know. I can't remember. You cannot see the picture. <laughs> no. uh, there is there is a book I, I between. You cannot see. Vamos a mover. Okay. Oh, I see. There is. Can you see Diego? Mm -hmm. There yeah. is a book. Yeah, thank you. There, there is a book between. There is a book between the box and the camera. And the camera and the and the regard. No. I would say this is Guitar. a book. A camera. A camera. And. And. A book. Box. So the... There is a book between. The box the, and the between camera. Between the box mm -hmm. and the camera. Yeah, there is a book. There, there is a book between the box and the camera. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice. What about the the other picture? This one. Where is the star? Where is the star? There is a star behind the backpack. Uh huh, exactly. You can say there is a star. What is this? There is a star behind the backpack. The backpack. Yeah, okay. There is a okay. Vaya, cheque. Probablemente ustedes dirían, ¿y por qué se complicó tanto poniéndonos esos dibujitos raros? ¿Verdad? Y hubiera hecho mejor. Eh, podría haber hallado un montón ya hechos bonitos en internet, pero eh, tenemos acá, ¿verdad? En inglés corporativo tenemos la política de no ocupar materiales de terceros. Ah, pues lo hubiera hecho usted. Lo hice yo. <risa> Lo hice yo y miren qué bonito que queda. Yeah, right? teacher, pretty nice. Beautiful. That's my creativity. Sí, es que ese es para que no nos penalice YouTube, ¿verdad? Entonces, 
nosotros no podemos utilizar materiales de otra gente. Entonces, aquí vamos. Solo original. Así es que aquí vamos. Ok. Any question here? Questions. Uh -huh. no, no Teacher, uh, behind, eh, ahí tengo un poquito parte, no sé. Ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh. yeah, behind. If you look at the star, the star is like, vamos a ver. My, my cell phone is here, right? And I put this behind the cell phone. My clip is behind, behind the cell phone. Behind is atrás. Atrás. Hey, Claudia Carolina, hello. Esa. Okay. Really? Yeah, she's here. <laughs> nice to hey, see welcome you. Welcome back. <laughs> yeah, nice to see you, eh? Gran fiesta y no me contes. Y yo sí. Gran emoción. <laughs> <laughs> y, y Claudia Bello. Bueno, okay. So you see, behind it's like this. Behind, behind. Um, I, I, what can... I, have, I, I will use what I have here. What do you have in your bag? Okay, we have a lot of things in our bags. Well, I have a Atera. I have a wallet. I have a deodorant. Vamos a jugar con estas tres cosas. Check. The wallet. What is the wallet? Can you see in the filter? No, no, they have there. If it's black is here. Where is the wallet? I'm going to put algo blanco aquí. Okay. White, white. Check. Hoy sí, verdad? You have a wallet. A terabyte that is here. So, where is the wallet? Usenme cualquiera de las preposiciones que tienen ahí. Between. Okay, the wallet. Give me the complete sentence. The wallet. Because the next is wrong. The wallet is between. It's between. And the other one, and, and the cell phone. Oh. No, it's a terabyte. Mm -hmm. nah. So the wallet is between this, the deodorant, and the terabyte. Where is the notebook? Where is the notebook? Behind. The behind, notebook. The, the, behind. behind the terabyte. The wallet. It's behind the wallet. Where is the bottle of water? Where is the bottle of water? There is at. It is? At the book. Vamos a agregar una nueva preposition ahí. The bottle of water is in, in front. front. Exactly. In front. In front. It is in front of, in front of, of book. The book. Okay, perfect. Not it book. is in front of the notebook. Yeah. Where is the bottle of water? It is in front it is of, in front of, book. Book. In front of, the, of the notebook. Right. Okay. Now, remember, we are talking about prepositions, right? Let's see, we have some other models. Do you have any questions with these ones? Vamos a ver otras más, pero necesito que les queden bien estas primero, antes de irse con la demás. A ver, in, on in no problem, right? We were talking about in yesterday. On, in this case, we are using on 
like on top of. Right now, my phone is on the table. On the table. Where is your laptop? Donde está su laptop o su computer? In front. In front of you, right? In front of you. So and in front of me. On the table, right? Or on the desk. Okay. Now we have next to, next to, next to. We can say, eh, así como me aparecen ustedes aquí a mí, yo puedo decir que Diego is next to Nelson. No sé si logran ver lo mismo que yo. Diego is next to Nelson. Right? Nelson is between Diego and Daniel. Between, right? Between. Between, en medio, right? If you remember the picture, the book is between the box and the camera. It's between the box and the camera. Okay? Now, the star is behind, behind. What is behind? Atrás. Atrás, Atrás. exactly, Atrás. 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 Very good. Any question here? Look at this. We are going to lo voy a mover otra vez. Fashion check. Where is the park? Hoy vamos a hablar sobre los lugares que están así allá alrededor de donde ustedes trabajan. ¿Sí? ¿Se acuerdan? Ayer estuvimos hablando de las cosas que hay adentro de su lugar de trabajo. Y nos concentramos más en el derisiderar porque me interesaba más que se fueran quedando con una, eh, como les digo, con una estructura a la vez y no darle todo al mismo tiempo después que era que ven. Entonces, ya hoy ya manejamos bien el deris y el derar. Hoy nos podemos ir con las otras preposiciones que no están. Ok. Where is the park located? Where is the park located? It is located. It is located. Between the first and second avenue. Uh -huh. It is located among many places. Okay. okay. Repeat. Where is the park located? 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 It is located among many places. It is, it is located, 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 located among, among many, 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 places. Many, places. many places. Many places. Among many places. Aquí hay un el parque está aquí. Se acuerdan el parque que vimos que vimos anteayer. Hoy lo vamos a volver a ver. El parque está acá. Y aquí había unas cosas, por aquí había otra, y otra, y otra acá, y otras cosas acá. Entonces, ¿dónde podemos decir que está el parque? Among many places. Among many places, porque no está ni a la par de este, ni a la par de otro, ni a cross de este, ni del otro. Está en medio de todo, right? So you can say okay. it is among many places because the park is here. Now, where is the sport palace located? Repeat. Where is the sport, where palace, is the sport located? palace located? Where is, where the, is sport the sport palace? Located? Where is the where sport, is the sport, sport palace, palace located? located? Where is, the, where is the sport palace located? Where is the sport, uh, where is the sport palace located? Where is the sport palace located? Who can tell me? It's located on Beverly Street in front Boston. of the park. Okay. It's located on Beverly Street. It's located on Beverly Street in front of the park. In front of the park. Very good. Mm -hmm. It is located in front of the park. Okay. Ya les voy a mostrar el, el mapa. Por si no se acuerdan de él. 
Check the map. Where is the park located? Where is the park located? It is among, among many places. It is among of many yeah, places. Among many places. Tiene de todo alrededor y el parque está justo en medio, right? Okay. Now, where is the sport palace located? Where is the sport palace located? It's located on Barrios Street in front, in front, of, the park. In front of the park. It is on Barrios Street in, in, front, front, of the in park. front of the park. In front of the park. Incluso yo acá me atrevería más a usar a cross from que in front. Y les cuento por qué. Porque tengo que cruzar una calle. Across the street. Yo me inclinaría más por usar a cross from que in front. ¿Sí? A cross from the park. ¿Ya? A cross so, front. Sí, porque usted tiene que cruzar la calle, no usted enfrente, enfrente, enfrente. Por ejemplo, eh, ¿qué? Díganme si ustedes conocen la Universidad Francisco Gavidia, ¿sí? ¿Qué hay enfrente de la Universidad Francisco Gavidia? El edificio de Litva. Ok, dependiendo para qué lado, right? Pero con la venta de motocicletas, Suzuki. Ajá, exactly, exactly. That's the one I was thinking. Es una venta de... Suzuki. Sí, son motocicletas. Entonces, you say, it is across from, porque tiene que cruzar la calle, right? Tiene que cruzar la calle. Pero nosotros, y por eso lo ponen acá como in front of, porque nosotros generalmente preguntamos, ¿y a dónde queda? Ah, enfrente de tal cosa, ¿sí? Enfrente de, y aunque usted tenga que cruzar la calle. Ya, si esta distancia fuera todavía mucho más grande, definitivamente no podríamos usar en front of, sino que tendríamos que usar a cross -off, porque hay que cruzar. Eh, por ejemplo, si usted se va al centro de San Salvador, ¿dónde queda? Está la plaza cívica, ¿verdad? Así se llama todavía. Sí, sí claro. Ok. La plaza cívica, el, la biblioteca nacional de este lado y catedral. ¿Ok? En ese caso, definitivamente, nosotros en español decimos que la biblioteca nacional está enfrente de catedral, pero en realidad no es así. ¿Qué, ¿Qué es lo que queda enfrente de catedral? El parque. El parque. La, la, plaza, la plaza cívica, right? The square. Ah, la, la plaza, el plaza, plaza se dice square. Uh -huh. The square is in front of catedral, pero eh, ya el, eh, la biblioteca nacional tendríamos que decir across from. Porque tiene que cruzarse toda la plaza para llegar a la ¿Eh? Entonces, cuando usted tiene que cruzar un buen espacio, no decimos in front of, sino que across from. Across from. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's see here. Um, where is the mall located? Where is the mall? Where is the mall located? The mall. Where is the mall located? Between. Ajá. Uh -huh. And you see the answer. Bank. Located near, near the restaurant. Okay, near, near. Near ¿Por, the qué no decir, ¿Por qué no decimos next to aquí? Porque no está exactamente a la par. Exacto. Hay una calle, ¿verdad? Exacto. Para, entonces no puedo decir yo 
que el mall está next to, the, next to the restaurant. En este caso, yo digo, the mall is near the restaurant. Right? What is the mall? It is near the restaurant. ¿Sí? Where is the bank? Where is the bank located? Around the street. It is? Around the street. On Barrios Street. Ajá, exactly. It is on Barrios Street. Near, near street. to the mall. Near, near the mall. to the mall. Mm -hmm. It is near the mall. Very good. Okay. Where is the church? Where is the church? Where is the church? Is next to next to Syria Hall. Oh. It uh -huh. is located exactly. on on I Second Avenue. Them. Exactly, it is on Second Avenue, next to the City Hall. Aquí sí podemos decir next, right? Uh -huh. the, the church is on Second Avenue, next to the City Hall. And check this. Fast school. En este caso, cuando nosotros usamos fast school, es porque usted viene de acá. Viene sobre la segunda, ¿verdad? Sobre la segunda avenida, Second Avenue, y usted viene caminando o en su carro, pasa a la escuela y llega a la iglesia. ¿Ya? Yes. Entonces, por eso es que se dice fast school. Where is, where is uh, the church? Past the school. It is located past the school. O sea, después de la, después de la escuela. Yeah. Where is the National University? Then you can say past Hospital Bloom, right? That past the Hospital Bloom y ya está casi en la universidad. So you say, it's past the school. De cuando usted le está dando or, la... Uh, or teacher, or, or next to the school, the school barrios. Mm, no Gerardo es, Barrios. Fíjese que este es el mismo caso del mall y el restaurant. No podemos decir next to porque no están a la par. En el caso de City Hall, sí están a la par. No hay una calle entre medio. No, pero... Por ejemplo, la Universidad Nacional, sí, a la, a la parte de una escuela que se llama Gerardo Barrio, si no me equivoco. Si no, me equivoco. no sí, la, la, la España, la que está a la parte. Ah, mm -hmm. no me acuerdo. Está la, el, el tercer ciclo Morazán. Y arriba ah, está la, 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 la España, España, en una esquina, ah, y a la parte está la Morazán, sí. es que, sí, las señoritas. Ajá, exacto. Uh -huh. Ajá, exactly. So you can say that the university is near. En ese caso vamos a utilizar mejor near porque no, no vamos a quemar con ninguna otra preposición. ¿Por qué? Porque por la posición que está la universidad es bien difícil de definir si está enfrente, si está a un lado, si está atrás. Entonces, en ese caso nos quedamos mejor con Tercer ciclo Morazán is near the University of El Salvador. Right? Porque está cerca, pero no exactamente. Ni enfrente, ni a la par, ni atrás, ni in front of. Sino que mejor no quedamos con near. Right? Y cuando se nos da eh, una, una ubicación que no es así como que muy exacta. ¿verdad? Entonces mejor nos quedamos con near. It is near. Está cerca. No está a la par, no está enfrente, no está atrás, no está en medio de este y este, pero está cerca. Entonces, en ese caso nos quedamos mejor con, con cerca. Right? En este caso yo vengo de camino y es, eh, la iglesia está pasando la escuela. So you say, uh, the church is located at the school. So you pass the school and then you're there, you're in the church, right? Any other question related to this preposition? Mm -hmm. 
What is among? What is among? Entre. Ajá, entre. Pero ¿cuál es la diferencia entre among y between? Between es, uh, puede ser entre medio de dos locales. Ajá. Y, y among es como, es como está en el centro de, de, de muchas cosas. En muchos. En este caso, fíjense que también podría decirse the park is surrounded by surrounded surrounded o sea que está rodeado mm -hmm. So you say the park is surrounded by many places. Está rodeado por muchos locales, muchos lugares. Eh, podríamos usar también surrounded cuando estamos hablando de una casa que está rodeada de muchos árboles. Está justo en medio de todos los árboles. Then you say, well, the house is surrounded by many trees. No podemos decir between the trees. Porque no hay solo dos, hay muchos alrededor. En ese caso podemos decir among the trees o the house is surrounded by many trees. ¿Ya? Yeah? Ok. Any question here? Any question? And regarding the, the, the park, uh, is possible to say that it's between uh, the two streets? Because um, we noticed that it, uh, the park is right at the middle of, of the map. Exactly. So it's between the barrios and the Russell Street. Sure. Or between the first and the second avenue. Correct. Sí, claro. Porque solo son dos calles o dos avenidas. Pero en cuanto a los demás locales, porque son demasiados, right? Then, yeah, perfectly. You can say the, car, the park is between the barrios and the Roosevelt Street. Imagine you say, hey, uh, Rene, where is the park? And you say, well, it is between the barrios and the Roosevelt Street. Then, si alguien ya llegó a la barrios, pass the barrios, and then you will be in the park, right? Go park. Yeah, I think that is... There is a lot of options there that we can yeah, use to, to locate the park, for example, mm -hmm. between Barrios and Russell Street in Excellent. front of the mall on the First Avenue. Excellent. I mean, there is like more information that is going to help us to find yeah, the, the, the location. It is on the First Avenue, it is on the Second Avenue, or it is between Barrio Street and, Ros and Roosevelt Street or it is between 1st and 2nd Avenue, or ya, porque si solo decimos it is eh, among many places, es como, no, y entonces, como llego, right? Mm. So, yeah, you're right, you're yeah. right. Especially if you're trying to give the direction on how to get to the place. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Cool. Okay, tell me, before we move, where is the sport Palace. Where is the Spoiled Palace? Where is the Spoiled Palace? It is on Barrio Street between the school and the bank. Right? Mm -hmm. It is on Barrio Street between the school and the bank. Um, where is the mall? Where is the mall? Fíjense, between si podemos decir, lo que no podemos decir es next to. ¿Sí? Porque no nos afecta el que esté en medio del banco y el restaurante, aunque hayan calles en medio, eso es un problema. Right? Pero no puedo decir que está a la par si hay una calle de so, where is the mall? Across where? from the park. Mm -hmm. Or between the street, the, the Roosevelt Street and Barrio Street. Exactly, it is between 
Barrio Street and Roosevelt Street, or between the bank and the restaurant, right? It is between the bank and the restaurant. Where is, I'm going to say, what is this? Oh, where is World Book? Where is, uh, where is Book World? Estoy leyendo al revés. Where is Book World? It's located past City Hall. It's past City Hall. Very good. Uh huh. It is on Roosevelt Street, right? Okay. Very or good. around or around the street, in Second Second Avenue and Roosevelt, Roosevelt Street. Mm hmm. On the corner, we can say right. It is on the corner of Second Avenue and Roosevelt Street. Where is the Arrows Company? Where is the Arrows Company? Near, near the restaurant. It is located on Roosevelt Street. Uh -huh, it is located on Roosevelt Street between? Between the restaurant book and book. the book world. Book world. Mm -hmm, exactly, between the restaurant and book world. Where is the city hall? Where is the city hall? City hall next to church. Church. Uh -huh. no. The city hall is it's next, it's next to the church. Avenue, next to the church. Mm -hmm. Next to the church. ¿Qué otra dirección podemos dar? Minus if you le digo the church. Cross run is the city hall. Cross from mm -hmm. Book World. Okay, it is across from Book World. Or, um, and on the on the right. Across from Park. And it is also across from the park. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Recuerden que nosotros como salvadoreños siempre buscamos un poquito más de un extra, don. Pero es que no entiendo dónde está. ¿Qué, qué otra clave me puede dar para poder llegar? Entonces podemos dar Todo, todo lo posible, no solo el nombre de la calle, sino que a la par de qué, en medio de qué otros locales, a la, en frente o, 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 o across qué otro local podemos encontrar. Right? Any question here? Preguntas, preguntas, preguntas. No questions. No question. Claudita? No questions? Okay, perfect. Now, check. Yeah. Uh, we are going to do this exercise. I'm going to say for the Okay. There are, there are some sentences here that you're going to complete. In your manual, ya les digo donde. Forty-six. Forty-six. Okay, thank you very much. Mamá. Oh, okay. Vamos a la page number 46. Yo los voy a mandar unos que unos solo son cuatro oraciones. Unos Three minutes, lo voy a mandar. Okay, so you complete the sentence and then we come and check together. Okay, ready, 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 okay, ready. So remember, complete the sentences using along. ¿Qué significa along? Ajá. A lo largo de. Exactly. Por ejemplo, si usted dice along the river, a lo largo del río, right? Along the river, 
podemos usar también alón eh, con rule. Uh -huh. rule Fíjense street. que a veces nos encontramos calles que no son rectas. Entonces, en ese caso, usted no puede decir, o sea, usted lo que dice es, usted va a salón, aunque la calle sea así, usted se va a lo largo de la calle, independientemente de si va a subir, va a bajar o va a cruzar, o, porque la, va siguiendo la calle. Then you say, along the street, along the barrio street, right? Along a lo largo de esa calle, along the river, along, ¿qué? along the bridge, si va a cruzar un puente, I you go along the bridge. Es todo eh, en esos casos es que vamos a utilizar along. In front of, what is in front of? What is in front of your workplace? What is in, uh, in front of your workplace? In front of. Frente de. No, frente de. ¿Qué hay en frente de su, de su oficina? The parking lot. The parking lot. Okay, great. Now, any question about any of these prepositions antes de que los mande a los grupitos? No question? No, no question. Okay, perfect. Well, let's see, 13. I will have one group of three, well, one group of four, and the others a group of four. There we go. Are you ready? Yeah, ready, ready, ready. Yes, right? Yep. Hello, Rina. Rina la veo acá todavía. Vea si se logra unir al, al grupo. Hi, hi. Hello, guys. Are you ready? Sorry, <laughs> Daniel, que lo saqué de donde estaba, pero no sé qué le pasó a, a Rina ahora, que no lo conectarse. Sí, de, de repente veo a otro y, bueno, ¿qué pasó? <laughs> Yo dije, de aquí, de donde hay cuatro, me llevo uno. Ok, complete. Ok. Complete the sentences and read them carefully, right? So you use the correct preposition there. Okay. 
la primera sería frente. In front, in front of. In front. Ajá, yes. in front. Or across from. Teacher, eh, we can use across, across from. No problem. Sí, no problem. The sport place is In number one. across from the sun. Vamos a ver la picture. The picture is just across the. the sí. Yeah, because you. Mm, sí, you have to cross the first avenue. So you can say across from the bank. Yes. No problem. It's a cross. Yeah, you can say a cross. Because you have to cross the first avenue, right, to be able to get there. The city hall is and next is next to next to the church. No. The city hall is the cross. I'm going to put and between, between the teacher, but I have a uh, very street. City hall. No problem. I can we can say between. In which one? And number number two. Because uh, the city hall, the yes. city hall is between the sure. church. And good work. Yes, you can say it. You can say it because we're mentioning here two places. Mm -hmm. Two places, not only one. So, yes. The train will be perfect. O a cross, tal vez. Uh -huh. Ay, no sé. En la cuatro sería in, in front of. Uh -huh. Están enfrente del parque. Yo les estoy... <ríe> en, en la número tres. Ajá. Their, their restaurant is along Fields Avenue. ¿Qué tan largo es el restaurante? Oh, oh, oh. No, es eh, chiquito. Ajá, on, on. Sería on. On y no le dan el on, ¿verdad? Dice que sería mejor on. Sería. Ajá, no le dan la opción on, ya vi. No. The restaurant is... Because it is at the end of the first avenue. Past first avenue? No, no. It's on first avenue. Porque solo sería on Fitz Avenue. On first avenue, sí. So, sobre la... Yeah. Sobre el, es que está sobre la primera, no está a lo largo de la primera. Mm -hmm. Si habláramos acá del mall, dijera yo, no digamos, pues, along the first avenue, porque el mall es largo, pero uh -huh. el restaurante es un cuadrito, un, no creo que sea ni siquiera una cuadra de grande. Uh -huh. right? Yo me inclino por on. Hombre. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Teacher, y si en el examen nos aparece así, que no nos ponen la opción on, 
la podemos poner. Entonces le pueden poner al hombre. Ajá. Ajá. Pero de lo contrario, eh, la favorita sería hombre. Estuvo viendo el examen. <risa> muy bien, muy bien. Esa es mujer preparada, dice. Aunque sea escrito, lo voy a poner. Teacher, yo tengo una duda con, con la pronunciación de los números. Ajá. Con el, por ejemplo, el 39, es Terry Knight. Night. Nine. Nine. Mm. Mm -hmm. Nine. 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 En el próximo nivel. Y, y ahí cambian, cambian, cambian los teachers o, o siguen los mismos grupos. Yo creo que cambian. Uh -huh. No, dice Claudia. <risa> yeah. ¿Por qué? <risa> Empieza el otro, empezaría el 29. 29, ¿verdad? Según la, la, la información que les mandaron. Me parece que sí. Vamos a tener unos días. Para que estudien y no para que se les olvide. <risa> <risa> Eso es lo malo. Sí. Olvida. Entonces sí. aprovechen de meterse a ver la plataforma, de, de entrar a ver los ejercicios, de ir a practicar. Sí, pero, eh, pasar el manual. Porque si no, se olvida. Uh -huh. sí. no. <risa> Dicen que lo que se aprende no se olvida, pero en el inglés sí. <risa> si no practica, se olvida. Exactly. You have to practice, right? You have to practice, 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 practice. Ahí le voy a mandar una canción cantada por mí. <risa> No. <risa> Después así como que no, mi soy sí. no. <risa> ok, bueno, vamos a ir a ver lo demás, chicos. You finish, right? Yes. Ok, perfect. Sí. Dirección más exacta. Okay. Eh, entonces depende de la, de, de, de la forma en que lo veas tú, tú puedes dar más, más referencia puedes ocupar hasta más de una eh, por ejemplo digamos el Sport Palace pues, es in front of the Barrios Street between the first and the second avenue or between the bank and the school uh, or is in front of the park or is across to the park o sea no te limitas a solo una, puedes eh, ampliar, digamos, el, 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 las, las opciones de proporciones que puedes ocupar de, de locación para darla la, con, con la dirección que tú estás buscando. Para ser más exacto. Ajá, exacto, como para ir eh, haciéndolo más exacto, lo, lo, donde querés explicar que esté el, el lugar. Entonces... Eh, Hey, you want to see something funny, teacher? I can hear you. 
You're muted. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see. Oh. This is my pet slipping in my place. Slipping in my bed place. Learning English too. <laughs> <laughs> like my daughters, when I'm in class, sometimes I ask something to my students. And they say, yeah, that was listen and repeat <laughs> Because they answer to me. <laughs> And if, if we're making a game about okay, talking about famous people or a famous place or whatever, they answer and say, I know, I know, I know. And they say, don't say it. <laughs> because they are paying attention to my class. But right I'm now I am, a, I am a part, so they don't answer to, to the class. <laughs> okay, let's see. Well, it's time to call attendance. Let's see, Claudia. Present. Let's close this. Claudia Xiomara. Daniel. Daniel. Present. Excellent. Daisy Yesenia. Daisy Yesenia. Excellent. Diego. Present. Great. Stephanie Jamlet. Henry Salet. Jonathan. Present. Excellent. <laughs> Mosillo o Jonathan? Más o menos. Lo oigo todavía con un poquito de malestar. Sí, estoy bastante ronco. Ouch. ¿Pero está sí. tomando medicina todavía? Todo el día, en la mañana, en la noche. Ay, pero, pero ay, vamos, es que fue un, es una faringitis. Ay, eso pues. Sí. Tecitos, tibiecitos. Sí, en eso estoy. Hay que comer jengibre. Tan rico el jengibre. Muy picante. Mi papá nos enseñó a comernos las raicitas del jengibre así. No. Con los frijoles. ¿Te aprendí? El té de jengibre. Al estilo chalateco. Ya. <risa> yeah. En serio. Sí, prueben, es bien rico. Solo que cuando está bien tierno es suave, ¿verdad? Pero cuando está bien sazoncito sí pica bastante, ¿verdad? Pica, pero buenísimo para la cosa. José Ernesto. Yeah, with chicken. Ah, you can put ginger to everything, everything. María Elena, ya nos va a dar hambre. Marilena, excelente, Marilena. Marlon. Present teacher. Ok, great. Nelson Alberto. Present. Great. Rafael. Present. Excelente. Ricardo. Los Ricardo. Rina Aura. Rina. Rina, ahora I saw him somewhere. Okay, Salvador. Present teacher. Excellent. Sulma Lorena. Present teacher. Excellent, Sulma. And Rene. Present. Okay, great. Great, great. Now, let's continue. I'm going to share the screen with you again. Now, let's go to this. We're making a, a review of there is and there are, right? So you say there is an ATM 
across. Hoy le vamos a ir agregando dónde está. Right? There is an ATM across the street. Where is the ATM? Where? Across the street. Across the street. Very good. There is an ATM across the street. There is a recruitment center where? There is a recruitment center. On the corner, right? On the corner of on the Bruce corner Street of Avenue. Uh, Bruce the corner Street of Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. On the corner of Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. There is no clothing factory around here. Around, cuando usamos around, right, around the corner, es por la esquina, ya, yeah? por la esquina. There is no clothing factory around the corner. Allá, por la esquina, no, es, no decimos en la esquina, sino que por la esquina, right? So that would be the difference here. Now, um, there are, there are a lot of companies, there are a lot of companies down the street. Eh, no sé si ustedes acostumbran usar mucho el uh, para arriba que para abajo, cuando hablan de las, de las calles, ¿verdad? The down the street. This is the street. Ay, Okay, so down the street, if you go in this way, you go down the street, right? Down the street. If you're going this way, you go up the street. Yes. Down, up. Down the street, up the street. Yeah. So there are a lot of companies down the street. Where are the companies? Down the street. Down the street. Right? Down the street. There are some supermarkets where? On the right. On the right. Left, and left, left, side, the left side on the street. Of the street. Uh -huh. So that means that we have the street here and there are supermarkets here. On the, on the left, and there are supermarkets also on the right. Como si ustedes conocen los selectos que están allá por la motocross. La Miral Valle. La Miral Valle. La Miral Valle. Exactly. So in that case, we can say that we have supermarkets, so there are supermarkets, on the right and on the left side of the street, right? On the Constitution, right? That's the Constitution, yes. On the Constitution Boulevard, right? See? Boulevard Constitution, right? Okay, so you say there are, there are supermarkets on the right and on the left on the Constitution Boulevard. Because there you have one selectors and the other selectors, and then you have uh, Walmart on this side, okay? So you go on that street, and you can find there are supermarkets on the right and on the left, okay? There are no hospitals. There are no hospitals on Barrio Street. No hay, right? There are no hospitals on Barrio Street. On. Okay, any questions here? La de supermercado no me quedó muy claro. El supermercado, por ejemplo, mm. el ejemplo que les estaba yo del Boulevard Constitución, que allá a la altura de Miral Valle hay un supermercado a este lado y hay un supermercado al otro lado, son selectos los dos. Que usted dice, there are some supermarkets on the right, on the right, this is me right, and there are some mm -hmm. 
supermarkets on the left side of the street, the Pival Constitution Boulevard, y hay supermercados uh -huh. de este lado y supermercados del otro lado. Uh -huh. So, the uh -huh. on the right, on the right, and on the left. Dependiendo, recuerden uh -huh. que cuando uno le dice, ah, ah donde te punte la nariz, <ríe> ¿cuál es, cuál es su, su, su right, cuál es su left, right? Y por eso cuando le están enseñando a manejar a usted, le dicen a su derecha. Cuando le dicen a la derecha, significa a su derecha, la suya. Porque la derecha suya, cuando va para allá, no es la misma que cuando viene de regreso. Right? Entonces, si yo voy para allá, this is my right and this is my left. Pero si vengo de allá para acá, this is my right and this is my left. ¿Sí? Entonces, depende de hacia dónde usted va. Pero en este caso, the supermarkets are on the two sides. On the right and on the left. Yeah? Okay, gracias. Okay, perfect. Across the street, across the street. Remember across? Every time I have to cross the street, I will say across the street. Yeah? Around the corner. ¿Qué significa si yo digo around the corner? Por la esquina. Por la esquina. No hay, no hay clothing factories around the corner. Ahí por la esquina no hay. Entonces, cuando yo digo on the corner, soy bien exacto. Soy bien exacto. Esta es mi esquina. Entonces, si yo digo on the corner es justo acá. Es pero, si yo digo, pero si yo digo around the corner es. Ya abarca un poco más. No hay, no hay closing factories around the corner. No hay por la esquina, no hay. Right? Uh -huh. este, esta oración podemos decirla de otra manera. Ya les voy a mostrar. Lo vamos a Abordar estos hermosos. Por ejemplo, eh, si usamos negativo en la oración, aquí me perdió el, el pens, el que los muevo para todos lados. There are no hospitals on Barrio Street. Or you can say there aren't en este caso there aren't any la oración significa lo mismo. There are no hospitals on Barrio Street. There aren't any hospitals on Barrio Street. No hay ningún hospital. ¿Ya? No hay ningún hospital en bar, on Barrio Street. ¿Ya? Teacher, y en there are, there are not, no le falta ahí la, la T o así, there are no. No, fíjese que ese así se, así se ocupa. Por ejemplo, si usted dice, I have no time. I have no time. I don't have time. Yeah. I have no time. No tengo tiempo. Or I don't have any time. Entonces, si no quiere ocupar any, lo ocupa de esta manera. Mm -hmm. Y este no significa. No. no. O sea, nada. No. Right? Ajá. Entonces, There are no hospitals. There is no clothing factory, right? No hay ninguna clothing factory. There is no time. There is no water. Yeah. There is no water. Y es que es la primera vez que veo el not. Sí. Sí. No sí. Y, y fíjense que sí lo pueden usar como eh, si decimos I have no time. 
I have no money. Mm -hmm. Or I don't have time. Or I don't have any time. Or I don't have any money. I don't have any money. En este caso utilizamos el, el no. Pero el verbo tiene que ir en afirmativo. Si yo ocupo, si mm -hmm. yo voy a ocupar any, este va a ir en negativo. Y usted dirá en any. Dirá en any postras. Dirá en any tomatoes in the refrigerator. Right? There isn't any water in my bottle. There isn't any coffee in my cup. Right? There isn't any. No hay. No hay. O puedo decir también, there is no coffee in my cup. There is no coffee in my cup. Any question over there? No questions? No. No. Ay, nos vamos a ir entonces. Lo voy a mandar otro ratito a los rooms. Solo los voy a mover de grupos. Voy a dejar de compartir para poder seguir. Ok, los voy a mandar a, a, a grupito lo que van a hacer. A ver si me los movió. Vale. Lo que van a hacer es completar estas oraciones. Usando there is or there are. Right? There is or there are. Y pay attention to the to the Prepositions, right? That they are using there. Ready? Get it ready. Yes. Any question? Listos para ir a los grupos chiquitos? Ready. Okay, perfect. There you go. Yeah, let's go. Ready. Teacher. Uh, teacher. Hello. What we're having to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In your manual, ya les digo que página es. Okay. Si me hace los enseñantes. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's page 42. Page 42. 42. All right. 42. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the exercise number five and the six. Exercise number five, yeah. Just number At the number five. Number five, yes, only number four. Okay, okay. Thank you, teacher. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Teacher. Yeah. 
Lo que está entre paréntesis en, la, en lo que vamos a complementar se tiene que usar. Por ejemplo, son en la 2. Sí, así como estuvimos viendo en los no sé, si no. decía, uh -huh. son, there is no, there is a. Pues, y eso lo van a ocupar. Ok. No, ok. Okay, and the first one I think that is there is there is no. I teacher, I have a question. For example, number one, uh, we can we can write uh, there is there is a marketing presentation uh, present, presentation across the street in the morning. There is a marketing presentation across the street in the morning. That's perfect. But in number two, for example, the final of the sentences, uh, I see some. Mm -hmm. Vaya. Si se fijan en, el, en el los ejemplos, ustedes están en la página 42 del manual, ¿verdad? Sí. Vaya. Si se fijan en los ejemplos que están arriba, there are a lot there, yeah. There are, there, some. There, mm -hmm. there are some business workshops down the street. There are some business workshops down the street. Teacher, pero en, en por ejemplo, la, esta palabra some, podemos usarla como solo, pues, en, solo en plural. Y también solo con, en plural. con las cosas que no se pueden contar también como para significar algo. Por ejemplo, en el caso de water, yo puedo decir there is some water. Porque no, no, no puede saber. No puedo, hay. Ajá, hay algo de agua, pero no sé exactamente cuánto. Right? So in that case, I can say there is some... Con las cosas, teacher, ya que estamos acá, eh, necesito que me saque una duda. Eh, por ejemplo, las, con las cosas incontables podemos utilizar there is. Sí, con las cosas que no pueden sí. contar, solo puede usar there is porque es singular. Porque no, o sea... Por ejemplo, no whether... Weather, sun. There is some rain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There corn. is some rain. There is a lot of corn. Rain. Yeah. So, con todo lo que okay. se puede contar, usamos debes. Y con todo lo que ah, se okay. puede contar, que tiene plural, usamos derá. Ah, derá. Ok. Thank you. Um, Pero es como de ver el, 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 el mapa. ¿va? No, porque este, eso no está, por ejemplo, el, el, el centro de reclutamiento no está en el mapa. Uh -huh. No estaba. No, no. igual es que tiene el workshop. Aquí es lo que se va a la... concentrar más en el derizo de dar. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. ¿Y eso de quantifier? Quantifier es el, so, el son. Por ejemplo, le voy a compartir acá. Es lo, lo, lo que está entre paréntesis. Ajá, ajá. Por ejemplo, acá ah. que a lot of son. No, estos son los quantifiers, porque le están dando una cantidad. Entonces, you say, for example, there is some, there is some water in my bottle, right? There is some water, there's some, me dice cantidad. If you say there are some supermarkets, hay algunos supermarkets, right? Algunos, a lot ya serían bastantes. There are a lot of companies down the street. Hay muchas compañías. No. Mm -hmm. okay. Entonces, en las palabras que tienen acá, por ejemplo, el no, ¿verdad? Que era lo que hablábamos antes. There are no hospitals. O there are in any hospitals. Este no es el que van a utilizar ustedes acá. Ahí está. Mm -hmm. 
por ejemplo, okay. las que no tienen. Las que no tienen solamente les pone de erizo de dar. Y podría ser a o an, dependiendo del, 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 de la situación, si es singular, ¿verdad? Right? La, la, la cinco podría ser there is there is a bank behind the factory I work lo que pasa es que dice banks está en plural ah sí va uh -huh. sería de esta sería de are ajá de are there are banks ajá sí Y la otra pregunta que dice uno también. Ahí era seis, ¿verdad? Ajá. ¿Qué sería de Riz? Uh -huh. Es singular. Eso sería todo, va. Sí. Sí, creo que sería todo. Okay. Porque los de abajo no, ¿verdad? No, solo eso. Baby. No. Sí, solo para confirmar. Uh -huh. El uno, el uno era de, de Riz, ¿verdad? A marketing pues, presentation. Sí, de, sí, correcto. El 2 que le pusimos de are some. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Sí, there are some. Uh, el 3 de, de are no. De ar, de ar. propio del edificio ajá, ajá. Sería, sí, sí, sí. a la vuelta de la esquina sí. uh -huh. Teacher, yeah. en, en las indicaciones veo que dice que cumple the exercise with there is or there are y a quantifier, no sé cómo se dice. De, ajá. Eh, teníamos que usar eh, some 
a lot, no. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. The words that we were talking about there. Um, I lo they, there is some, or there are some, or there are a lot, mm -hmm. or there is no, or there are no, mm -hmm. el no lo podemos usar con, con todos, con there is y con there are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any other question? You finished, right? Sí. Yes, excellent. Okay. Ready, ready. Y esperando que vinieran y no los había llamado. <laughs> Después me quedé, ¿qué pasó? Oh, qué barbaridad. Teacher. Vaya, let's see. We're missing 17 minutes. Y solo nosotros estamos allá de regresar. No han regresado todavía los de la sala 1. Bueno, ya tendrán que volver. Ok. Ya volvimos todos. Ok, perfecto. Okay, let's see. What is the first one? So yeah, there is a marketing. There is, there is a marketing presentation. Ah, there is a marketing presentation across the street in the morning. Okay, there is a marketing presentation. Mm -hmm. okay. And number two, so yeah, uh, there, there are some business workshop down the street. Okay. No. Yeah. Yes. There are some business workshops. There are some business workshops down the street. Yes. What do you have in number three? There are no. Oh, there aren't. There aren't any recruitment centers around my building. Okay. There is no, right? Or there are no. There's no recruitment centers around my building. There is no, there are no. There are no. There are no, there are no recruitment centers around my there building. There are no recruitment centers around my building. There are no, exactly. Oh, there aren't any. There, there aren't are any recruitment centers around my building. Exactly. There are any. Exactly. So you can say, there are no recruitment centers around my building, or there aren't any recruitment centers around my building. Great. What about number four? There isn't. There isn't. There isn't a store. There isn't. Any. There isn't any store. There isn't any store on the corner. Mm. On the corner. Very street in Second Avenue. Okay, singular or plural? 
Singular. Singular. Uh -huh. There isn't. Okay. There isn't there is. a store, right? There isn't a store. A ah, so, uh, yeah, yeah, store. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. ah, because it's singular. There isn't a yes. store on the corner of Roosevelt Street and Second Avenue. Or oh, there is no store. Similar to this one. Yes. Right? Similar to this one. Okay, that you say there is no, there is no store. Y el otro de acá, el número tres, there are. There are no. There are no. There are no hospitals on Barrio Street. There is no clothing factory around the corner. There is no store, right? There is no store on the corner of Roosevelt Street and Second Avenue. There is no store. Yeah. There is but but you can no. use there isn't too. Yeah, sure. Sure. You can say there isn't a store. There isn't a. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. There isn't a store on the corner of Roosevelt Street and Second Avenue. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I hear. There are no recruitment centers, or there aren't any recruitment centers. Any. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, okay. teacher. Escribir las respuestas, teacher. There is, right? There is, there a, is a market in presentation a across the street. What about number two? There are some. There are, there are some. There are some. See, because it's plural, so we can say there are, right? There are some business uh, workshops down the street. What about number three? There are no, or there aren't any. Mm -hmm. There are no recruitment centers around the building or there are any, any recruitment centers around the building. Great. What about here? There, 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 there is, is no. no. There is no. Or there is an ah. Mm -hmm, exactly. There is no store on the corner or there isn't a store on the corner, right? What do you have in number five? There are. There are banks. Mm -hmm. There are banks behind the factory I work. There are. There are banks behind the factory. Pero se nadie pelona la oración, no sé. There are, there are, I will say there are some banks, right? There are some. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Porque si no queda así como que, que le, le falta que le falta algo. Okay, there are some banks behind the factory I work. Right. What about number one? <laughs> there is an. Uh -huh. There is an Arasa building around the corner. There is an um. Arasa building. See, an because Arasa begins with A. Right? There is an Arasa building around the corner. Great. And now we have it. Exactly 15 minutes. Oh, teacher. Okay. What places are there around your workplace? What places are there around your workplace? And you write some sentences like this. So you say, well, mm, around my workplace, there are a lot of uh, restaurants, right? So you can begin with the same and change all the rest, right? So you say there is a there is a bank on the corner. Yeah. There is a bank in the corner all across the street. There are some 
here near my workplace. So write three sentences, right? Only three. Write three sentences describing what things are there around the place where you yeah. remember there is, there are, and a preposition of place, right? Just three sentences because of the time, and then you get ready to check, share with the rest. Any question? Mm. Take my breath yeah. away. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. Who said teacher? Uy, de repente me tiraron el hambre así. Me dio hambre. Teacher, for example, for example, <laughs> eh, <laughs> the words, yes. for example, the words around, I can I can use in the time around around the eight a.m. Yeah, eh, eh, cuando usamos around es que no es exacto. Eh, por ejemplo, eh, el ejemplo que vimos aquí antes que decía around the corner, sí, around the corner. Significa por la esquina, pero no exactamente en la esquina. Entonces, ese around, cuando lo usamos con tiempo, también si usted dice, mm, I start work around eight. O sea, no exactamente a las ocho. Empieza un poquito antes, un poquito después, pero no exactamente a las ocho. O ¿Okay? I get up around six. No se levanta a las seis. Se levanta o un poquito antes de las seis o un poquito después. Right? El around okay. o about en el caso de tiempo nos ayuda a, a ubicarnos en un espacio de tiempo muy exacto. Ya, puede ser un poquito antes o un poquito después. Ok, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Are you ready to chill? Ready, ready. Ready? Quien quiere ser mi primer volunteer? Mm. Volunteer, volunteer. Only three. You don't have to write a lot. Just three. A ver. So we need you to, to say like places around or uh -huh, work around your workplace exactly exactly I... so you say there is um a well, uh, um let me think um in the there is actually an an uh, hotel nearby. Okay. Um, there is one a store on the next block. Okay. Um, and uh, there are some factories uh, in front of where I, I live. Well, uh, where I work, I, there's some factors in from on it. Okay, very good. Thank you, Rene. Okay, Rene, do me a favor. Who is next? Who is next? Yeah. Let me see. Give me one number. One, four, two, ten. I give you the number, or you will give me the number. Yeah, give me the, any number from one to ten. Um, number five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Maria. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you're oh, the number five. On Maria the... Elena, you're very lucky. Okay, go ahead. Tell us about the place where you work. Querido, 
que repetir? O... No, me va a decir eh, tres oraciones usando there is y una preposición de las que vimos hoy. Ah. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, si me dice there is a mall across from my workplace. There is a restaurant next to my workplace. And there is a bank on the corner. Pero sería siempre en ese número 5 o en la 6? No, no. Es que yo, estaba, yo estaba en la 6 respondiendo esa de I working. Este, exacto, es que eso es lo que me va a decir. Pero son los ejemplos, son iguales. Uh -huh. Go ahead. So where do you, where do you work? Where do you work? Lo que va a hacer eh, María Elena es decirme eh, tres oraciones utilizando posiciones de las que vimos hoy sobre lugares que están cerca, alrededor de, del lugar donde se trabaja. Terminal bus. A bus station. Uh -huh. Ajá. There is bus, bus station. En... ¿A dónde queda la bus station? Ayer solamente decíamos de bus. Hoy le vamos a agregar. Um, ¿Dónde? Con una preposición de las que vimos hoy. ¿Dónde está la bus station? There is a bus station. Puede decir near or across um, from or next to, in front of. Next to my work. Okay, great. There is um, a bus station next to my work. There is PMT and Under the street, second. On the street, the shadow. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's the name of the street. Y que queda en esa calle, pero no sé cómo. ¿Cómo se llama la calle? Via shadow. Americana. Calle para americana. Americana. On Santa Ana. Ok. Entonces sería Deris BMT uh, On and you tell me the name of the street. Of the Pan American Street. Ya. Yeah. Me falta uno. Le vamos a perdonar una y vamos a escuchar al próximo. Who will be next, Marilyn? You. Eh, Claudia. Claudia. Ok, Claudia. Two sentences, Claudia. Eh, primero digo mi lugar de trabajo y después los después, demás. Son, sí. ¿Qué cosas hay cerca? O, o next to, or in front, or behind. Sería I work in Zona Franca Miramar. Ok. There is a uh, um, street uh, autopista Comalapa. Ok. So you can say there is a road, there is a road near my workplace. Mm -hmm. What else? Mm 
Cerca, ¿cómo se diría? Near, near. Uh, there is near. Um... Olo, quilta. Ok, there, is, oh, there are a lot of pupuserías near. Right? Yes. Ok, there are. You see, vaya, aquí tiene el quantifier. Right? There are a lot of pupuserías. Near my workplace. Ah, oh, qué rico. Yes. There are a lot of pupuserías. There are a lot of pupuserías near my workplace. Your favorite. Yes, pupuserías. <laughs> we are very good Salvadorian people, right? Okay. Copia pupuserías. Oh, sorry. Sí, de cochinito. No, with coffee. Oh, with chocolate. Oh. <laughs> no milk. Eh, no, pupusas with milk, never. No, it has to be. I see, I see, I see, I see, for example, it will be will with chocolate. Aha, uh -huh, with chocolate, yes, but not with milk. My father used to eat uh, pupusas with milk. No sé cómo hacía él para pasar pupusas con leche. Because it is special. Sí, no, no, no. Definitely no. <laughs> with coffee, yes. Or with chocolate. Mm, also no. Okay, one more volunteer. Volunteer. Hello. Hey, Nelson, tell me. Uh, I, my workplace is, uh, I work in warehouse. Yeah, or the warehouse uh, is between uh, between on Boulevard Boulevard. ¿Cómo se llama este Boulevard que está por Soya? El ejército. Ejército. Uh, the, the warehouse is between in between uh, on Boulevard and Boulevard Ejército and a Street in a Street Matasano. Okay. Uh, there are there are there are some parking lot. There there are some uh, apartments inside inside the inside the, the warehouse. Okay. Okay. Any more? No, you said three, right? Okay. Thank you, Nelson. Thank okay. You. Thank you. One more. We have one minute. One more. Follow. Yo veo que Rafael quiere hablar. Okay. Okay. There is a Tudo bus station is next to my work. Okay. And there is a full station uh, between uh, Candelario Street and uh, Aguachapan Street. Okay. Um, it's uh, in my work, it's located past the BMT. Okay. Oh, you see, very good, very good. Okay, now we are ready to call attendance, right? Vamos a ver quién se va a quedar conmigo hoy. Diego. A Diego le toca, okay? Vamos. Okay. It's my turn. It's your turn today. Y Diego así me que por qué. Por qué. Somebody wants to. You sound like a disappointed. Somebody. Ah, uh -huh, yeah, right. It's like a somebody. Que por favor toma mi turno. Okay, let's I'm excited. Hey, I see you. Hey, Claudia, Carolina. Present, teacher. Okay. 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 Okay.
bien, que no lo miraba, lo había perdido. Vamos a ver, Claudia. Claudia Carolina, y yeah. Claudia Xiomara. Y así vean. Daniel Antonio. Daniel. Present. Daisy Yesenia. Present. Donde la voy bien de. <risa> es que ando allá por la libertad, me va a decir. Por eso me viene. <risa> Diego Armando. Present. Okay. Stephanie Chamlet. Jonathan. Present. Okay, thank you, Jonathan. Jose Ernesto. Here. Marilena. Present teacher. Okay. Marlon. Present teacher. Nelson Alberto. Present. Okay, great. Rafael. Present. Nice. Ricardo, no here. Rina. Rina Aura. Yo la vi, ¿verdad? Sí, por ahí estaba. Ajá. Ok. Sí, Salvador. Present teacher. Excelente. Zulma. Zulma, Zulma. Zulma, hello. Sí, yeah, Zulma. She was there. Okay, now I don't see her. Okay. Present. Present. Yeah, okay. Great. Well, that's it for today. Uh, solamente. Uh, una cuestión. Recuerden entrar eh, a la plataforma, ¿verdad? Y vayan adelantando lo más posible que terminamos el viernes. Y para el viernes eh, hay que tener completado todo, ¿verdad? Así es que vayan adelantando lo más posible para que el viernes logren terminar ya, que ya solo les quede el examen final para el viernes. ¿Verdad? Ok. ¿Any question? No question. No question. No question. Vaya, pues. Buenas noches. Good night. Ok, good night, everybody. Bye. Good night, teacher. See you. Bye. 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 Happy Bye. night, guys. Bye. 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 Ahí recuerdan la notita que les mandamos, la, la carta de satisfacción la llenamos hasta el viernes, viernes. la llenamos acá, acá, okay. 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 porque aquí vamos a ir siguiendo así el, el paso a paso, porque como leyeron allí, solamente se puede llenar una vez, ¿verdad? Entonces hay que tener mucho okay. Ese es como nuestro sí. paso para poder seguir con el siguiente modo, no hay que terminar el primero, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, el viernes temprano nos toca a nosotros llenarlo temprano, oye, así que espero yo que no tengan problema, nos toca tipo ocho y cuarto, parece, para la hora para completar. Bueno, así es que, bueno, see you Friday, have a nice day. Bye. Bye. Bye 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 it's some, it, you know, something that happens is that in the middle of the, on the middle of the week, we feel like, right? 
because we know without that the energy kind of tired because we're not boring. just beginning <laughs> yeah i know we're not just beginning but we are not about to end yet so it's right in the middle mm -hmm. But yes. Tomorrow is Thursday, then Friday, and then Saturday. So the weekend is is very, very close. Okay, tell me, uh, Diego, do you have any questions? Mm, no, I don't think so, teacher. Questions? I think I'm doing well. Okay. Well, I know, I know you know. Mm -hmm. You tell me the best. Yeah. No, of course, you're doing a great job. And I can see it, right? How are you doing with the platform? Mm, I'm okay. I think that you are doing a great job with us. And I, I try to get everything. And I was studying English around five years, I think. And but uh, I forgot something, some some stuffs. Yeah, and I get in again. I, I pick up all, all that you are teach us. And I don't know how to say it really. Yeah, that's that's the best, right? And you made a very good decision of starting from from the beginning. Sometimes we can say, but I already know this and this and this. But it's very, it's better to keep a sequence, right? Yes. So it's better to, to, to follow a, a sequence from the very beginning. And so when you get to the end, you go like, oh, I took advantage of everything. I took every single moment. <laughs> yeah, this, this is the reason why I, I yeah. begin again from the, from the basic level, because I, I want to remember uh, the little little short things that I forget and especially because I have a, a big problem I can hear a conversation I can understand but it sometimes it is really difficult for me to give you an answer and this is why I started again from from basic but you know the best thing uh, for example if you want to to get used to speak, the best thing is to listen. Listen helps for speaking and reading helps for writing, right? So that's mm -hmm. why it's very, very important, like having interaction yeah, no, but... your conversation. At the beginning, of course, it's not easy, right? But with the time, you're getting used to it. Mm -hmm. So uh, at yeah, the end, you you'll feel like, okay. No and I, I try to do it, but sometimes i don't i don't have enough time you yeah. know i work I, I i have to do a lot of things somehow yeah. and sometimes i i'm tired and i don't have enough time but i try yeah and because on sometimes weekends i i try to write it about the the all the subjects that we seen mm -hmm. here in class yeah it is a good idea to, to give a to check right and to give a feedback of all the things that we are learning because mm -hmm. you, you see the day with day we're having different things and that is uh, and that's why yesterday i gave only there is there are so there is there are similar mm -hmm. that's it mm -hmm. because if i gave yeah. yesterday more prepositions and quantifiers i would be like yeah too much right at the same time but just uh, with yes. the with the is and there are, it was like okay yeah okay it's easy I know it no problem and now yeah this is that I try to do uh, write it in practice exactly because I think that the practice make the the master you know uh -huh. <laughs> and trying to adapt it to to what you do right to your job and to your real thing. So okay, okay. taking okay. the general to, to, to your workplace, right? To adapt it to what you do. Mm -hmm. okay. But definitely you're doing a great job. Continue, continue working, continue practicing. 
And I hope to see you in an advanced level and say, hey, yeah, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you so much, Tisha. I did it. So you I have to later. be to be here until I I get uh I don't know how to say a diploma. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes, a diploma. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I, I want to speak uh, native English, you know. Yeah, definitely. This is and my focus. Yes. You have very good pronunciation. You have Thank a very you, good pronunciation. So continue doing it, continue practicing, and at the end you will see. Right? That you can do lots of things. Okay, teacher. I appreciate it much. Thank you very much, teacher. And and I don't know. Well, that's it. That is. Okay. okay just continue working and see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow, okay. teacher. Thank okay. you so much. Okay. Good night. Take care. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye.